Well, greetings YouTube, and today we are playing The Walking Dead, a game made by Telltale Games, known for their point-and-click adventure type games. You may, maybe you have heard of Sam and Max, for instance, that's quite popular. So The Walking Dead, like many of their previous games, is an episodic game meaning that you can choose to pay for each episode or you can pay for them all in advance and you will get them once they release. They are said to release usually one per month, they have said, so I think that's what they are trying to stick to. Anywho, let's just jump right in, shall we, and experience the universe of The Walking Dead based on the graphic novel and not the TV series. Maybe some some things, but mostly the graphic novel, I believe. So I've heard at least. I'm not too familiar with the universe itself. I haven't watched. I watched two episodes of the ser of the TV show. And that's about it. So I know there's zombies involved and things like that. So let's just jump in and play the game, shall we? Small help you and do take off and make decisions. Okay. Um. It may be too easy if we. I don't know. I'd go with the standard first and you will see what happens. Episode 1 A New Day. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Okay, you have limited time to make a choice. Why do you say that? Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Well, every time? Every time? Every time. So let's take a look around. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. You're for making then? For making. Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case, like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in, with all due respect. A real shame, that is. Ooh, Hell, police car. Our whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Hmm. Uh. I 
I'm driving this man once, he, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. What's going on over there? Plenty <laughs> of cars. He just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Are available for you then before long, Is that really a wise idea, man? Like, like a fussy baby on I think an there's airplane. something going on Tell over there. Stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. Should look at so the road, man. Having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious oh, oh, if I do say oh, so. What's out? This other time... Oh, damn. Well, that's not a good sign, I would say. Oh my. I think we probably should get out of here. If we can. Shit. It's not a good sign. Um can we Why the hell did he have his gun out? Hmm. Hey! Hey officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here. Well, it doesn't look too <laughs> great, does it? Um can we open the door? Can we <laughs> Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. Maybe it was tossed from the car during the wreck. Okay. Another time? He's not moving. He must have the handcuff keys on him. He must have the handcuff keys on him. Okay, now. Oh, I can move it totally around. <laughs> Pardon me, I was not aware. Give me that glass. There we go. I need to drag myself out that window. Yes, we shall. Oh. Careful now, careful. Who knows what dangers lurks around a corner. Okay. Steady and slow. Try not to trip. Shall we? Shall we get the shotgun? Maybe? Maybe not, but looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. All right, man, you're the boss. What's that? Is that the door, isn't it? Or officer? Let's see here. Grab those keys. And uh, 
Well, are you clumsy, aren't you? Who? Bit creepy this is. Let's try. Here we go. Again. Oh. Oh! Holy shit! This isn't good. Oh! What in the hell? Oh god. Get away from me! Um shotgun shells. That's the thing, isn't it? Uh. Come on. I can't. You're so clumsy. Let's do this. Don't make me stay away. St stay away. Ah, I guess I have no choice. This is like tutorial part. Well, that's one way to end the trip, isn't it? Who's that? Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! Uh, don't run away! Oh, I don't like the camera. Ah. Oh my. Get away from this place. Ah. Oh. Oh. What's going on here? Fences, their only weakness. Whew. Hello, anybody? Well. Looks like you, sir, are lost. Um, oh, what is that? Tea set, eh? Of course. I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Oh, yeah. What? What is that? Is it like a. Anybody up there? Hello? Anybody in there? It's like a help. Boy. No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. There was someone who screamed help, wasn't it? Where am I? Hearing things. Getting a bit... Paranoid. Ooh, look at the pool cover. Maybe I'll just go for a dip. Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! Well... Who knows? Ooh, a chair, eh? Wasn't it? Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. Maybe you should. Breaking into houses is always a good idea, isn't it? 
Tends to be that. Home. Well, there's only one way of finding out. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Maybe knock a warm one time. There's something going on. Okay. Breach that door. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Yeah. Steady now. Ah. Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. Alrighty then, let us see. Contact book. No, coloring book, sorry. Oh, the unicorns. It is they who are behind this, I know it. It's got to be. Look at the ball of fruit, man. It's fake. Damn. Damn. What's the peeping sound? Oh, yeah, look at that first. Well, yeah, that's blood, presumably. Ooh, What's that beeping? Maybe there's something on there. Maybe we should check it out. Three new messages. Message one left at 5:43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. What is going on? Um, someone hiding in the kitchen. Um, see here. Not in the sink. No. Maybe in the cupboard. Could be something useful. Um, this place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. Oh. Uh, ooh. Maybe not after all. You need to be quiet. Is a... I'm not a monster. Good. What's your name? What's your name? This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you, then? Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Oh, oh, oh my, this isn't good. Ooh. 
Ooh. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Can't do this. He's the most clumsy person ever. <laughs> oh. Oh, dead. Get away. Springtime's over. Whoa, this is kind of brutal. Oh. oh. I thought I, that was enough, wasn't it? You're dead, okay. Obviously. My sort of humane zombie killing was not enough. Apparently, we need to kick the shit out of her completely. There we go. Oh. Oh, come on. There we go. Kick her. I'm gonna take the hammer now. Let's do this. For real this time. Okay, I think that's enough. I'm pretty sure that's enough. Well, did you kill it? Um, I think so. I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Oh, um. I would say before it gets dark is perhaps better. If I have seen. I've seen some zombie movies and. Nighttime, zombies, always a bad combination, so let's do it before. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Yeah, logic conquers everything. Let's go. Stay close to me. All right, I guess we will walk, follow the little girl, somewhere. All right, I got a walkie-talkie, but I don't really know if I can access it. No, I can't. Guessing that's if she goes away or something. There we go. Oh. Who's that? Oh, man, I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. This sucks. Well, it's hot dish night. Okay. They are obviously extremely concerned about the fact that this is a zombie outbreak. I see. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? 
I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I don't know. Um, I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Alright. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... <laughs> Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Yes. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. I don't know, maybe lying to me is... What do you want to do? We'll get some consequences later. Maybe I should just told the truth. The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Okay. Okay, let's do this, huh? Um. Steady now. Come on, you can push better than that. There we go. Whoop. As babysitters go, I'd say her parents are you a tip. Well, the moon shines. Sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. They're extremely cool about the whole situation, really. <laughs> Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Um, yeah. We're gonna... Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Um, car accident. Car accident. That's so. 
Where were you headed before the car accident? Um. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Oh, <laughs> this is awkward. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Yeah, I would agree. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Yeah, I gotta say, um... I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right. All right then. It smells like... You know. I know what it smells like. Duty. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Hey, get up. Ugh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Okay, people, thank you for watching the first episode of The Walking Dead, and we shall continue on shortly in the following episode. Thank you for watching.